Today is the day, my friends. We are getting everything, all systems ready to go here. Yeah, baby. I can't wait, I can't wait. We have been in Grenada for like two months now. Today, we are going to be leaving Grenada. We're making moves, could not be more freaking stoked. Basically no wind, and there's weirdly enough, uh, here it's pretty much constantly blowing from the east, but over the next couple of days, it's gonna be coming a little bit from the north, but it's very, very calm and very light, so. We're probably just gonna be motoring. We just have to go around to St. George's or Port Louis and fill up with water because we are all out of water and then we'll be good to go. Well, we're all stoked to go and we've been having this issue the last couple days where you turn the key and nothing's happening. So uh, we think it's a wiring issue because usually it beeps and the fuel pump will come on and that has been happening infrequently. Like it hasn't been consistently coming on. So uh, we're trying to figure that out, but I think Kiki's just gonna jump it so we can get out of here right now. Okay, try it again. Nada. Okay, so the problem is one of these cables. Realities of boat life. It's not always bikinis and sunshine. It's also boat work and things breaking and not working all the time. So much troubleshooting. Salt water is like a cancer and it is just constantly trying to destroy your boat and so any wires that get corroded it, and it happens so easily because you're just living on salt water so it just seeps into everything and corrodes and destroys everything so that's that's a big part of where the constant battle comes from is that. She's a running and uh, yeah we just had some corroded wires and uh, a bad relay so we switched that up and cleaned up all the wires and stuff but we really just got to get the heck out of here so we are getting off the mooring ball and getting underway and oh, I feel like I can breathe ready to go yeah baby let's go <laughs> yep so then just pull the other side of the rope and pull it through yep quick quick quick, quick. all right all right you got it girl The irony. So we pulled in just to fill up on fuel and water. We actually ran out of water like three days ago. So none of us have showered or done anything or been able to use any water, or do dishes or anything for like three days. So we come into the dock, fill up with water, and not five minutes before we arrived to the dock, somebody was fishing off the dock and broke the water line. So now there's no water here. So now we still can't fill up with water. It's just been one of those typical boat days and this is the reality <laughs> of boat life which Cass is now getting to witness is uh, it is it's always one thing after another after another and the good days are great and in the bad days certain things just seem to keep on happening so time to sit here and drink a beer until we figure something else out. <laughs> well cheers to a uh, typical day of boat life. Standard life. <laughs> Enjoying the beer in the sun instead, so it's the small things. Bill, what's going on, bro? Hey, buddy. This is Bill? Yeah, that's Bill. <laughs> Hi, you got Bill. bread. He's not going to leave your boat. Hey. So this is yours. Thank you so much. I really Welcome. appreciate it. Hey. What are you doing? You can grab him. <laughs> Come here. Hi, Bill. It's Don't okay. Come in here, Bill. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. No, I want you. Get down from there. He's so funny. Come on, why don't you hop down? Come on. Filling up. We don't even need diesel that bad. All we need is water. <laughs> and the cherry on top. It's not starting again. Stuck, stuck on the field dog. Stuck at the field dog. <laughs> Good God, it's one of those days.
What are you guys looking for? Just so we have the key on, whatever wires we wiggle that make it start to, to beep and come on, then we know that those are where the bad contact is. We got to this dock at approximately 2.30 to get water and fuel. It's now maybe like 6.30 and we've just figured out what the problem is. So I'm gonna film Kiki and show you guys what's going on here. So we tested everything. We replaced the battery cables. Um, we checked it up at the helm. And every now and again, when you'd screw with something at the helm, it would allow the fuel pump to run on. So we thought it was something up there, but it all looked beautiful up there. So started tracing the wiring loom down. There were some issues at a connection and then found a spot that had been taped up and the whole loom had been sliced, spliced back together but water must have gotten in there, salt water somehow, and this thing is just destroyed. So now I'm rewiring all of the wires and the loom back together. And uh, yeah, check it in here. All of these wires yeah. have been totally corroded and destroyed. Some of them just broke right off right when I grabbed it. So that's our issue. How it ran at all, no idea. And so now you're going to cut that section out and then rejoin? Yep, all of these are getting redone. Long day, but the marina manager here was nice enough to come by and check on us and make sure everything was going well and see if we had a plan because the fuel dock is not a place you really want to be stuck. Uh, we already had one catamaran actually raft up to the side of us just to get fuel. We had to run the, the fuel hose across the boat for them to fill up. And so early in the morning, tomorrow morning, and all throughout the day, I'm sure there's gonna be tons of boats coming in here. So we definitely don't wanna be here. And she said that they're actually not allowed to let people stay in the fuel dock overnight. So she came in and checked on us, made sure everything was good, saw that we had a plan, and uh, we let her know we had it figured out. And so hopefully once we get all those wires reconnected and cleaned up, we should be out of here. It's the moment of truth, and I'm really nervous. I'm so nervous. If this doesn't work, I honestly don't know. I don't know. What I'm time out, is it? I'm out of ideas. 7.30. Five hours later. Drum roll, please. Fingers and toes crossed, everybody. Oh, I'm so scared. Good sign. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah! That was a terrible high five, but... Oh. 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 The whole wiring loom was in the shroud, out of the ignition box and into the loom where it connects. But for some reason, they found a janky spot and cut it and spliced all the wires back together. So, don't know why it even existed in the first place. Wow, that feels so oh, good. Right. Unbelievable. <gasps> let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Made it off the dock and just grabbed a mooring ball here overnight. It was quite the rolly night though. The reason why we grabbed the mooring ball here is because we're very close to the famous underwater sculpture park here in Grenada. We're about to hop in the dinghy and go around and see what we can find. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm nervous to use a weight belt for the first time, but I think it'll be great. Yeah.
right, we're free? Yep. Carry a coo, here we come! Woo! Woo! the most gorgeous day today. Such a contrast from yesterday. We went diving this morning on the Sculpture Park and now we're underway and we're kind of catching our last sights of Grenada. We're about to round the corner and we're heading for Cariacu, which is it's a separate island. Technically, it's still part of Grenada, but uh, yeah, we'll be heading there to finally get some water, hopefully, and check out and then we'll continue on to the Grenadines but it is flat calm out here. There's only five knots of wind and it's straight on the nose. So we're just motoring, but it's still a very peaceful day and feels amazing to be moving again, just after all the work that's been done and everything that's been happening since we've been here over the last two months. It's just so rewarding to finally get going again and be moving and the boat's running good. And yeah, all around just a super, positive day so far. draw a straight line from here straight across the ocean the nearest point of land is actually Africa which is about 2700 miles away it's wild to think about and to realize kind of how far me and this boat have come and yeah it's just pretty crazy to realize that <laughs> 